Welcome to Python 3 Intermediate 5, Iterators and Generators. Every video of all slideshows and code available in the description. We've used iterators many times before, as most containers can be looped over with the for loop. For example, for element in 1, 2, 3. Python implements this behavior with a special method called iter, which returns an iterator object from the container that has a next method defined. The next method calculates the next item in the container to return for the for loop to use. When there is no items left, the iterator stops the for loop by raising the stop iteration exception. This exception tells Python to stop the current for loop. Let's look at this quick example of what the for loop does on containers. So we, def we have a container defined with the characters a, b, and c. We then get the iterator of that container with the iter method. Now we can step through each one using the next method on the iterator until we hit the end and stop iteration is raised. Let's try writing our own iterator on a container. For simplicity, we'll use Python's tutorials example, which iterates over in reverse order. So we're going to uh, create a file called reverse.py and we're going to reverse any data that we give to that class. Okay, so let's come over to Ubuntu and we're going to create our reverse.py now we're going to create our class so we're going to do class reverse and in our reverse class we're going to define its initialization so def underscore underscore init underscore underscore that's going to take self and some data to reverse okay now we're going to set self dot data so we're going to create an attribute data which is going to equal the data that we pass in and self.index which is going to whoop, index which is going to hold uh, the position that we are inside that data so we're going to set that to the length of the data that we pass in okay now let's define our uh, our iter method so def underscore underscore iter underscore underscore and that's going to take uh, self our iter, our iter method is just going to return self, so this object. Now we need to define our next uh, special method. So def underscore underscore next underscore underscore. And that's going to take self. And we're going to need to do some calculations here to get the reverse order. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, write a quick if statement so if self dot index is equal to zero so if we've reached the end of our data then we're going to raise the stop iteration uh, exception but if we haven't reached the end of our data we're going to set self dot index to equal self dot index minus one then we're going to return self dot data data and we're going to return the index of that data so self dot index okay so that's our reverse uh, class defined let's create our main so def main now inside of our main we're going to create our reverse object so we'll call it rev equals reverse and the data we're going to give it is the string, is a string. So we'll give it Drapsicl. Okay. So now we can use our uh, our reverse object in a for loop. So we could do for char in rev. We're going to print and we'll print out the char. Okay. Now let's write our if. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore we're going to run main okay so let's try this out so right quit and saved now let's try running it so we're going to type python3 reverse dot pi now whoop, we've got an error uh, takes no parameters. Oh, I must have mucked up somewhere. 
uh, spell it right. Oh, whoops, forgot, I forgot an I in my init. So we need our init. There we go. All right, quit. And we'll try running it. And there we go. We get our string printed out backwards. So we get E L C I S P A R D. Cool. So let's move on. Generators are another way of creating iterators, but just in a function. They are quick because they generate all of the background code required for the next and iter methods. The core statement of generators is the yield statement. This saves the state of the iterator and sets the point to resume to when the next method is called. Generator expressions are a unique feature that Python uses that allows iteration to be handled by Python in just a single line expression. In the next example, we'll look at making a generator and look at doing the same task with a generator expression. Though generator expressions are uncommonly used, you may encounter one in another person's code and wonder what it's doing. Okay, so let's recreate our reverse iterator, except this time we'll use generators to do the same task. So we'll come back over to Ubuntu and we're going to open up our reverse.py and we're going to remove our class. So we can get rid of our whole class and we're going to use the reverse name for a generator function instead. So we're going to def reverse and reverse is going to take uh, the data that we want to reverse and inside that function we're going to create a for loop so for and we'll do index keep it consistent in range so we're going to use the range function and then the length of the data so len data minus one so this is the place we want to start inside the data now last time we just got the length of the data, but you gotta remember inside of our next method, we decreased uh, the index before we returned any values. So we wanna start at length minus one, and then we want to stop the iteration at minus one, and we wanna take steps of minus one. Okay, so for uh, that uh, index, we're going to yield. So we're gonna yield Oop, yield and we're going to yield the data with at the certain index okay so we've created our reverse uh, function uh, generator function so let's save this and right quit and we can try running our code and we get the exact same output but it's, it's such uh, much less code cool so let's uh, do it the same thing again, but this time let's use an expression. So I'll leave our um, reverse function there and I'll just go down a line. And what I'm going to do is create a variable called data and we're going to make that equal to the trapsicle again. And let's say we want to reverse over this uh, data string. We can do a, we'll print a list. And inside that list, we're going to put our generator expression. So for data, so our data i, so we haven't specified what i is yet. So data i, so each index in that data, for i in range, and similar to our uh, range function in our generator function, we're going to do ling of data minus one, we're going to finish at minus one and we're going to step down uh, backwards at uh, minus one. And we can close off our, um, our list and our print and we've just created a generator expression inside one line. So we're printing out a list of our data in reverse order. Okay, so let's save this and quit. Now let's try running it. So we run it and we get the uh, e l c i s p a r d, and then we get our list outputted in reverse. E l c i s p a r d. Cool. This concludes our look at iterators and generators. Extra code will be available in the code.txt and the, uh, in the slides folder, as well as a challenge task. 
Don't fear if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all of the information. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next, we'll be covering modulating our code. Thanks for watching.